Terry got into an accident soon after his daughter's birth, sending him straight into a coma for 19 years. But when he woke up, he said something that will shock you. Terry Wayne Wallace, 20, was one of the happiest men on earth the day his wife Sandy gave birth to their daughter in 1984. Okay, that might be an exaggeration, but he was probably the happiest man in the whole of Arkansas, where he lived with his family. Although Terry was more than happy to have his first child, a part of him was also worried. Would he be a great dad? Would he be able to give her the kind of life she deserved? He would often wonder, and these thoughts kept him up some nights. But the good thing is, he was willing to give it a try and be the best dad he could be. Little did he know that fate had other tragic plans for him, one that he could never have seen coming. At first, everything seemed perfect and the couple couldn't have asked for a better life. Terry and Sandy adored their daughter Amber. She brought so much light and joy into their lives, but things quickly took a shocking turn just six weeks after Amber's birth. Terry went out with his friend David to do some shopping. David wanted to get a surprise gift for his fiancée, while Terry needed to restock Amber's baby food. The two went out in Terry's pickup truck. When they were done shopping, they got into the truck and headed home. They were 30 minutes away from home when something terrible happened. A drunk and careless driver suddenly came out of a corner, driving at full speed, and in a bid to avoid getting hit, Terry quickly maneuvered the car but lost control of the vehicle. In a flash, it seemed the pickup skidded and smashed into the fence railing of a small bridge before skidding over the edge and plunging into a creek 25 feet below. Somewhere in the car, Terry and his friend lay gasping for breath. Meanwhile, Senda was home awaiting Terry's return, but as soon as the hours passed by and there were no signs of him or his friend, she began to panic. When night fell and he still hadn't returned home or picked up her calls, she freaked out. She immediately informed the police that her husband and his friend were missing and the police launched a search for them. In terror, Sandy sat in the living room with Amber in her arms waiting. This is the Arkansas Police Department. I am sorry to say, but your husband was involved in a car accident. He is currently in the hospital and she didn't hear much after that. Her phone fell out of her hands and she fell to the ground. She felt as if the whole world was crumbling down on her. A couple minutes later, after the initial shock wore off, she swung into action and got a neighbor to look after Amber while she was rushing to the hospital in her car. And it was there that she got to know the severity of the accident. Terry's friend had died on the spot while Terry himself had become paralyzed and fallen into a coma. When Sandy went into his hospital room to see him, she lost control of her emotions. Her young husband was wrapped up in bandages and was attached to a variety of machines that monitored his condition and provided him with life-saving treatment. Filled with grief, Sandy took Terry's hands in hers and cried. No, you can't leave me, she wept bitterly. We just had our daughter. You need to wake up. You need to fight, she said. But Terry remained still and unconscious. She stayed with him for a few more hours and then she returned home to be with her daughter. Sandy's life changed after that incident. Her life had been perfect and all of a sudden, she was all alone and had to take care of Amber all by herself. Luckily for her, Terry's mom, Helen, moved into the house to help her in every possible way. They all held on to the hope that Terry would soon wake up. Days passed and weeks rolled into months and soon. It was two years, yet Terry's condition remained the same. While in a coma, his family would often visit him. They would read him his favorite books and play his favorite music for him. They also took Amber with them, and the little girl would tell her dad how much she loved him. It continued in this way, and 14 years eventually passed by. Yet Terry did not wake up. A year later, having tried their best and every possible treatment, the doctors gave up on Terry. They believed he would never wake up. So they called Sandy into their office and told her it was time to pull the plug on Terry. Hearing those words, Sandy was baffled and she was crazy with rage. She vehemently told the doctors she would never take her husband off life support. At that, she rushed out of their office and headed straight to Terry's room. Honey, you have to wake up, you have to fight and show them that you're alive, she said when she got to his room, held his hands and wept bitterly. After this episode, Sandy and Terry's mom requested to bring him home on some weekends and the doctors agreed. 
Although it wasn't easy moving him from the hospital to the house and back, Sandy and Helen believe it would possibly impact Terry's health. The family made sure Terry wasn't alone for more than an hour. Either Sandy, Helen or Amber would be by his side and sometimes the trio sat by his bed. They would tell him about the latest events in the country and the world at large. The doctors thought the family was only wasting their time on Terry, but one day, on the 12th of June 2003, their efforts paid off and something extremely shocking happened. That day, Ember went to her father's room to check on him. She had just gotten into a relationship and wanted to tell Terry about her boyfriend. As the family usually did whenever they spoke to Terry, Ember held his hands, but this time around, something unexpected happened. Terry suddenly moved his finger. It was a slight movement, so Amber ignored it thinking it was all in her head. But as she kept on talking, it happened again and this time she knew it was real. Oh my god! She gasped as she rose to her feet. Dad is awake! She screamed. She immediately went to call her mother, who then called the doctors. When the doctors got to the house, they ran some tests on him to be sure he was out of the coma, and to the doctors' utmost surprise, he responded to their touch, and even established eye contact when they called his name. But the surprises were far from over. Later that evening, one of the doctors pointed at Helen and asked Terry if he knew her. Terry stared for a while, and he spoke his first word. Mom. The doctors couldn't believe their ears. Immediately after uttering his first word, Terry asked for a Pepsi, his favorite drink before he had slipped into a coma. He also apologized to Sandy for not getting back on time with the baby food. The now 38-year-old man, having been in a coma for 19 years, still believed he was in 1984. The doctors were shocked. Terry's awakening, they believed, was nothing short of a miracle, and they had no explanation for this. Although Terry finally regained consciousness and was eventually introduced to his teenage daughter, whom he immediately recognized, he was still disabled and couldn't do most things by himself. But thanks to his family's care, protection and love, Terry lived his life to the fullest for 19 more years. He died on March 29, 2022, at the age of 57. He was surrounded by family members and loved ones and he lived so long owing to the people who refused to give up on him. What a touching story. How would you have handled this if you were in Sandy's shoes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next post.